Uh, let's talk about golf, okay? But not just any golf. Let's talk about celebrity golf, the American Century Championship, okay? We have an American Century champion. His name is Vinny Del Negro. Vinny Del Negro, he went to a playoff hole with uh, John Smoltz. And in case you guys don't know who that is, if that sounds familiar, John Smoltz is a legendary MLB pitcher. Vinny Del Negro is, an, is a former NBA player. And they went to a playoff hole. You know, they tied at the 18th, and they ended up going to a playoff hole. And at the end of the day, Vinny Del Negro, he ended up winning it, you know. Uh, John Smoltz, he, had a, uh, he ended up uh, getting a very, very bad uh, playoff hole. I believe his, again, I believe his ball ended up getting lost in the water. So I believe he, ended, again, that, that didn't help him as well, neither, you know. It was a very, very bad shot for him, and Vinny Del Negro just capitalized. But overall, this was a very, very great tournament. And I'm talking about just not those two, but celebrities, and I mean celebrities. Like, we're talking about any any sort of any sort of like category and entertainment you want to go to that's what they had they had actors such as uh such as uh jack wagner um they had they had singers like justin timberlake alfonso ribeiro was another actor he was there ray romano was there larry the cable guy you want to talk about basketball players they had charles barkley steph curry um seth curry del curry uh, the Cur all the Curry was there. So I'm mean, football players: Patrick Mahomes, Travis Kelsey, Derek Carr, Adam Thielen, Kyle Rudolph, <laughs> Emmett Smith, Jerry Rice, Tony Romo. <laughs> it was absolutely ridiculous. It was absolutely ridiculous. Larry Fitzgerald was there. Vince Carter, another basketball player. Kyle Lowry they had like over sixty celebrities there. If I name them all, we'd be here all day, Nate. But overall, this was an action-packed celebrity event. I'm looking, I'm like, why can't I be there in Las Vegas at Lake Tahoe? It looked so entertaining. It was not even funny. But overall, at the end of the day, there could only be one winner, and that winner is Vinny Del Negro. Vinny Del Negro ended up winning the 2021 American Century Championship. And I, I do feel for him because he, uh, he lost his father on Wednesday, which, by the way, you know, may his father rest in peace and condolences to him. And he was talking about how this win was all for his dad. You know, every single shot he made, every single every single time he swung that club, he was thinking of his father. And so I have a lot of respect for that, you know. So congratulations to Vinny Del Negro on winning the American uh, Championship, American Century Championship, excuse me. Uh, but, yeah, overall, it was an action-packed event. Um, I go to the, uh, I go to the um, standings, and overall – I look at the standings and it and John Smoltz and Vinny Del Negro it was a pretty close. It was pretty close. It was a pretty close race. They ended up going to an 18th hole. They tied on the 18th hole, so they had to go to a playoff hole. And overall, I look at the standings and Vinny Del Negro, he came in first. John Smoltz came in second. Tony Romo came in third. Uh, Annika Sor uh, Sorenstam. Let me tell you about her. A Annika Sorenstam. She was absolutely amazing. And I know she's she was the only professional uh, golfer in this tournament. She's a woman's golfer. She was absolutely amazing. She was hitting everything on the dot. You know, she had a couple like bad holes, but overall, she was she was on she was on fire that whole tournament. You know, I gotta give her a lot of respect too. She was one of the most entertaining golfers I think that series. So, and this whole out of this whole three days that this has been going on, she was one of the most entertaining golfers in my opinion. So I gotta give her a lot of credit too. Uh, Jack Wagner, the actor, he ended up coming in uh, fifth place. Uh, Joe, P uh, Joe Pavelski, he ended up coming in sixth. Marty Fish ended up coming in seventh. And then Mike Madonna, the uh, other hockey player, he ended up coming in eighth. So overall, I think it was a very, very entertaining. Uh, I think it was a very, very entertaining tournament. And stuff like this is what's really going to help golf, like raise the ratings. Like golf is, I've been really following up on golf recently. You know, I'm new, I'm, I'm looking at a lot of these tournaments. You know, I'm getting, I'm getting used to like learning about new golfers and everything like that. But celebrity tournaments is really what's going to help it. You know, Aaron Rodgers was in. I remember he didn't, uh, he didn't end too like fantastically, but. Overall, this was a very, very entertaining match, you know. Overall, you it was filled with action-packed entertainment, you know. All the groups, everything was entertaining about this, you know. And, I'm, and the American Century, uh, Championship Century has absolutely been a great tournament for golf. And overall, I'm glad that everybody had fun. That's the most important thing about this tournament. You start seeing a bunch of these athletes, a bunch of these actors, celebrities. You start seeing them all come together and have a lot of fun. You know, and overall, I think that's what golf is. It's a fun sport. People don't look at it as a fun sport, but golf is a fun sport. You just got to learn how to play it. You just got to learn how it works. And overall, you really enjoy it. I'm serious. I'm being honest. Take my word on that. So overall, congratulations to everybody in the American Century Championship, especially a big congratulations to Vinny Del Negro. Again, well-deserved, you know, again, and overall, um, congratulations to him on being the top guy. I'll pass on the unit. Congratulations to Vinny Del Negro. Um, and again, you know, I, I do uh, pray for his family. You know, may his father rest in peace. Like Mario mentioned, he lost his father on Wednesday. 
Um, and I can only imagine how emotional it was for him. You know, obviously he was going up against John Smoltz, who was a legendary MLB player. You know, obviously he's a Hall of Famer. Um, and it just, you know, like Mario said, and I did watch a little bit, just a tiny bit of this. And I ended up watching that part where he lost his ball in the water. I was like the little bit of it that I ended up watching. It just seemed like it just wasn't his night, you know? It just wasn't his day. But obviously, like Mario mentioned, there was a lot of celebrities there. I mean, then again, it's celebrity goal. I mean, American Century Championship. Of course, everybody, of course, celebrities are going to be there. You feel me? But honestly, Mario, I, we've been talking about golf quite a lot, actually. And I look at it and I kind of want to start to play. I don't know how good I would be at it. I have a bunch of golf clubs. I have a whole like leather golf bag and all of that with a bunch of clubs and all of that. Only thing I need is golf balls and, you know, obviously a, a, a golf cart. But, um, and I have a golf course right down the street from my house, but um, I look at these events and it really, it really wants me to get involved in golf, you know, because a lot of things that uh, athletes do on their free time is to play golf. You know, it, it, it may look boring, but like it can be fun at times, you know, especially when you're playing it. It's kind of like baseball, you know, when you play it, it's fun, but when you watch it, it can be boring at times. It's, it's just like that, you know, but only with golf, you know, it's a different sport. But when I look at this, you know, uh, Vinny Del Negro did an amazing job. You know, he did what he had to do, and he and he did it for his family. He did it for his father, and I absolutely love to see that, you know. So, uh, with that being said, you know, congratulations to Vinny Del Negro. Again, um, may his father rest in peace and condolences to him and his family and his friends. Um, and as for John Smolton, uh, best of luck to you moving forward. Uh, I know he's also on – um. I know he's also a reporter right, right alongside Joe Buck with MLB on Fox whenever they, whenever they do it. Usually they do it in the postseason, um, but they will sometimes occasionally do like regular season games. So if he if he does do those, I do wish him the best of luck on Fox Sports with Joe Buck. Um, and everybody that showed up there, you know, best of luck to you guys. Again, safe travels to you guys, and we'll see what happens in the future.